Scandal, episode nine. It's the winter finale. Here it is. Okay, so Melly's shaking up Congress, right? She's not going along with the old boys network. So she decides to filibuster with a coaching from our girl Liv. Okay, you got the mistress coaching the wife. Olivia's got so much on her mind. Uh, someone says, I need your help. And she's thinking it's a murder or some big scandal, but no, they just wanted a recipe for cookies. So Melly's big move, uh, she wants women's health care uh, not to be cut. You know, she wants these reforms to stay in place. And of course, uh, once she tries to do that, you always have people trying to work against that because it's money. And Melly is so furious about this. She decides to filibuster regardless of being sick. You know, she hasn't used the bathroom and doing all kinds of things. She is going to filibuster. It doesn't matter until she faints. She's that convicted about this issue. At the same time, it could shut down the government because, you know, uh, these delays is stopping everything. The president and Olivia are very happy with their poll numbers. They sense that people are accepting Olivia now, even though she was the mistress, and now she potentially could be their, uh, their first lady, right? So the president's happy, but Liv has other things on her mind. There's something going on with her. We find out later in the episode what it is. We think she was pregnant. Yeah, the P word. <laughs> and we think she got the A word because at the end of the episode, yeah, we're gonna go right there. She's alone and she's happy. She's sitting there. The Christmas tree is right there. And she has her popcorn and her wine, whatever she's drinking. And she's alone, but she's content, or at least it seems. In the meantime, Olivia and Fitz had the biggest fight earlier. And it's because the president feels she's not really attracted to him anymore in the same way. She liked it when he was unavailable. And there are some people who are um, attracted to drama. I know people like that. I'm sure you do too. Uh, they don't want a simple uh, relationship. They want there some, to be some kind of uh, trauma. <laughs> trauma, yeah. Drama and trauma inside the relationship. So you see this uh, situation with the president where he's very disappointed with her. He's like, I should have stayed with Melly. Oh, really? <laughs> it was your wife, silly. All right, no, we won't go there. But my thing is, and we love Olivia, you know, it's all fun and games. But the reality is, if you are married, of course, try to work it out with your wife. There had to be a reason why you married her. Most people do have a reason, good reason why they married their spouse. And a third party just complicates things. You can't work on your relationship if a third person is in there vying for that person's affections too. It just complicates things too much. So we totally get it. Uh, Olivia ends up by herself and here's the president in the White House. He's by himself. And I guess Melly's by herself or she's with the kids. The same thing, you know. And so who knows where it's gonna head after the finale. We'll see what happens next year. Uh, maybe they get back together. And the sideshow, uh, if you're interested, is Joe Morton's character, which is Rowan Pope. And uh, Huck, they trade banter back and forth. Rowan telling Huck, uh, you know, what kind of father was you, da da da. Huck coming back at him, what kind of father was you? Olivia never had a chance. She ended up at, you know, acting like a slut. You know, all these names and things like that come out. But we understand both sides. Uh, both of you guys are like gutter, you know, rats. You've all killed, murdered. So I don't know if one is better than the other. I doubt it. But anyway, so yeah, that was Scandal. I have to tell you that gorgeous Brian J. White, they killed him off. Yeah, Jake assassinated him because of Elise, you know. And uh, I was sorry to see that because I think this young man is so fantastic. He is my son. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Just having some fun. But uh, we, we love to see these young actors go forth. And I thought that he and Olivia made such a wonderful couple of these gorgeous people, right? Two gorgeous folk just look so beautiful together, but that's okay. All right, so until we meet again, I'll see you on the other side. For those of you that, uh, you know, you're waiting for Scanner to come on, I believe it's going to be February 11th or whenever it's on, but I'll let you know. In the meantime, be loved. You love too, right? And have a wonderful holiday, wonderful Christmas, as I said before, and a happy new year. God bless. Until we meet again, 
Renee Stanley for Movie Review Relay. God bless.